I already have my canvas all covered here and in black, in Artist Loft Flow Acrylic Black. And I do have a little bit of it left over here. Um, I have decided that I'm going to be doing a straight pour for this galaxy. And I'm going to start with uh, sort of this little bit of black paint that I still do have in this uh, mixing cup. I'm gonna get a fresh mixing cup though. So I am gonna start here with this uh, fresh mixing cup and I'm going to just a layer of this black on the bottom here. Not too much, but I do want that bottom layer to be layered in black. So I've got a thin layer of black. And then I'm gonna go over my palette here as we um, pour them in. So first I have Dioxazine Purple by Liquitex Basics. And I'm just gonna be dumping these in the cup, kind of straight pour style in my, in my like most reactive pour possible way, <laughs> which basically means I pour it from pretty up high. And next up, I have this Quinacridone Magenta, also by Liquitex Basics. And again, I'm just gonna be pouring this in from a pie. Okay, and I have, this is Fire Opal by Folk Art, Tre um, Folk Art Treasure Gold Metallics. I'm gonna go ahead and pour that in. This is a metallic and I'm really been loving it, <laughs> loving the shade. Um, next up, I'm gonna go ahead and throw this other metallic in. It is the Antique Copper, also by Treasure Gold. Uh, metallics by folk art. So there we go. Next up, I'm going to take now, <laughs> this is going to be a little confusing because I have two blues that are called Brilliant Blue, but this Brilliant Blue is by Artist Loft um, and it's much darker than the other Brilliant Blue that I'm going to use next, which is by Liquitex. So I'm just going to go ahead and pour this. this is a, it's not super dark, it's like a mid medium blue. And then this brilliant blue <laughs> is by Liquitex Basics, and it's much lighter. It reminds me much more of a like sky blue teal kind of mix, sort of. Both those colors, I love blues. So next up, I'm just trying this out. This is uh, the, a color shift paint by Folk Art, and it's a Dragon Flash. I will list all of these colors in the description if I mess any of them up, so. It's also a metallic, metallic color shift there. Okay. And I have a little bit, I don't wanna to put too much of this, it's just a little bit of gold I've had mixed up for a while. And I'm just gonna drizzle a little bit in there. And then I'm going, this is Liquitex Basics Cadmium Yellow Light Hue. I'm gonna go ahead and pour that in there. All right. And I haven't put any white in this at all. <laughs> I do have some white right here. I mean, it's not much. I'm gonna just use about half of it. I'm gonna use the rest to, to make some stars later. Okay. So I have my cup, it's got quite a concoction in there, and I'm going to pour this on the canvas sort of in a diagonal. Oof, do I want to do it in a diagonal or do I want to do, hmm, you know what, I'm going to try something different. I'm not, it's going to be, we'll see how I do, but I'm thinking spiral galaxy, like as my inspiration for how I'm going to be like pouring this onto the canvas, so. It's very shimmery. <laughs> and then just whoop, trying to be slow. I don't know if I want to use all my paint. But I always use all my paint, so we're gonna use all my paint. <laughs> Definitely poured that way different than how I normally pour but that's okay, because we're experimenting as well as having fun. 
So let's see what we get here. I'm going to torch it. I'm going to torch it. And I'm going to tilt it. Got some gloves on. <laughs> let's do this. I think I'm going to go corner to corner first. You know what? I'm not going to cover it. I'm not going over the other corners. I'm going to tilt more off than I was sort of planning to. But that's okay. I really didn't need to use all that paint. But again, you know, never tried this uh, technique before. So we're just kind of... I was like thinking of different ways to make galaxy pours. And I usually go with like an open um, cup style galaxy pour and then kind of like move it around the canvas. I think I actually have one of the first videos I ever put up, I think, was actually with a galaxy pour in that style. Although some of those first videos I put up, I, I don't know, I might take them down. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> but it is up there. And I do love galaxy pours. It's funny, I've been. So I'm liking how this almost kind of looks like it's like swimming, you know, like the galaxy-esque, um, the colors, you know, but the black is, you know, well, it's outer space. So <laughs> space is black. So I want there to be a lot of black in it, but I don't want it to be all black. You know what I mean? Like I was, sometimes I feel like galaxy or my galaxy pores, I'm not going to speak for anybody else's. I've had my galaxy pores um, dry too dark, you know, like it looks beautiful wet, but it just dries a little too dark. So trying to avoid that with all of these colors. Now I have this fun little guy here. I've actually never used this on a pour before. It is like, I think it's called the world's smallest leaf blower. <laughs> um, obviously it's not really a leaf blower, um, but I've actually never tried to use it on paint. So let's see how this does here. I'm actually going to, this part, I kind of just want to blow this out a little bit. I don't know why, it's just calling to me. Ooh, that's actually fun. Look at that. That's fun. Ooh, it creates kind of like a little river effect almost. Ooh, okay. That was fun. I like how that... It like whooshed it out. I don't, I want to, I want to try to take that sort of style down this little stripe here. See if I can do it. Okay, yeah. I love it. It's so fun. This is fun. Get one of these. This is fun. I have had this sitting in my, um, I don't know, my stash of paint supplies, so to speak. I, I bought it a long time ago, like when I was first struggling kind of with um, Dutch pours, and I thought, and then I never used it, never even tried it. I don't know why. I'm trying it today. Enjoying it. Having fun with it. Okay. And then I don't want to mess with this at all. This is definitely the... Um, Color shift paint here. I'll grab it and show it to you. Let's see if I got the name right. Dragon Flash. I think I did get it right. It's the Folk Art Color Shift. And it's just such a pretty paint. It's like shimmering blue, green, gold. Um, kind of does look like dragon scales now that you mention it. Um, okay, let's see what else here. I think I'm going to just this little part where it's like the yellow is almost mixing to make a lime green. I'm just going to blow this out a little bit. Yes, I really am having fun with this toy. Okay. There, now kind of like this whole part kind of flows here. I'm just going to blow this out just a little bit here. 
to kind of give it a little, so it's not all going in one direction. But I kind of make movement both ways. <laughs> this, I really like this thing. I don't know if it would be good for like a big Dutch core, but for like at, trying to add little like Dutch accents, I think it works out pretty well. <laughs> I think I'm a fan. Okay. I love over here. It's super sparkly. I'm not going to mess with that part. We're definitely getting some cells and effects. They almost look like little planets in there or something. I like it. Okay. And I'm going to swish out the edges a bit, I think, as well, to kind of like, so hopefully this, just to kind of like m merge it with that black a little bit more, so it's not so um, delineated, like it's not such a strong line. I want it to sort of just blend, so we're going to. Ooh, I like it. All right, now I'm gonna do the same thing to this side. I can get this cord to come up and over those. Okay, start here. Oh. I feel like I've so, ooh. I think I found that little bit of white that I put in here. This is fun. I'm liking this tool. I've never had this much like control when blowing out paint. Like. <laughs> feathers it out into space. <laughs> okay, now I do have to do my tilt test and I'm a little worried because I really try to stretch out that paint. Oh, but it's not moving too much. It's not sliding around too much. That's a good sign. Okay. And I did try to make my base coat really, really thin so that it didn't like do any, I mean, thin on the canvas. Um, I mean, I mixed it pretty thin too, but like when I stretched it out on the canvas, when I flooded the canvas, I tried to make sure that that base coat was really, really thin across of it so that it wouldn't, I don't know, swallow up these paints as it dried. His fingers crossed. Okay. All right. It is time to add some finishing touches. It's so pretty. So I'm going to take this little brush I have. It's just like a little brush I got in a pack. I don't think I've ever used this for anything else. And I just dipped it in some white paint. Sorry, I'm white. White artist loft paint, just like what was sort of in the bottom. And I'm going to just flick this white paint onto my canvas. Kind of to create the effect of stars where I have mostly black in the black corners. Oh. Got a little, little too much, a little too Jackson Pollocky of a star there. I mean, don't get me wrong, Jackson Pollock is an incredible artist. There could be a painting inspired by him someday, but not this one. All right, and the excess paint off. It's funny, the first one was like no problem. This one wants to get. A little bit pollocky on it, so that's okay. We're just gonna let it be. A little white paint. And you have the stars. Okay, be sure to check out the other artists in the description below. There are some incredible ladies joining this collaboration and you should check out each and every one of those videos. 
but I am going to bring you in for a close-up. Thank you so much for watching. Please remember to give this video a thumbs up. If you like acrylic pouring videos, do consider subscribing because this is what I do here. And I'm going to bring you in for a close-up, but thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye! Okay, here we go. So I am so happy with how this turned out. It is a fun galaxy pour and just the perfect theme for the May the 4th be with you. And there's some really cool cells and metallics created. I love these colors together. And it really does. That little mini blower, how fun is that? It totally like wisped it out so it feels like it's really like blending into the space behind it. I don't know. <laughs> really enjoying it. I'm going to definitely be playing with that again. I'm kicking myself for not have pull it, pulled that out of my stash sooner. I don't know what's wrong with me sometimes. Oh, it, this is fun. I love it. Please let me know what you think in the comments, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye!